the wind causes waves. It brushes along the surface and drags the water up. We call these types of waves wind waves or surface waves. There is also a type of wave that is not caused by the wind. Tsunamis. Tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and landslides. Waves can be high or low. We call this the wave height. The height from the crest, the top of the wave, to the trough, the bottom of the wave. Waves can be long or short. We call this the wave length. How far apart two crests are from each other. Waves can travel quickly or slowly. We call how fast the wave is travelling the wave speed. Waves go in a certain direction. We call this direction the wave propagation. You call the number of wave crests passing in a certain time period the wave frequency. The smallest waves are called ripples, or more scientifically, capillary waves. They have a wavelength of less than two centimetres. They die out quickly when the wind stops and they are flattened by the surface tension of the water. Larger waves are called seas. Yes, this sounds a little bit confusing. Seas form if the wind has blown for a long time and they continue after the wind has died. They are too big to be flattened by the surface tension of the water. They are flattened by gravity. A third and last kind of wave results from seas blending together into groups of common direction and wavelength. They become very long waves and we call them swells. Now, how do wind waves grow? The stronger the wind, the higher the wind waves can become. And the longer the wind blows, the bigger they can become as well. Furthermore, the longer the stretch of water is in which the wind blows in one direction, the bigger the waves can become. This distance is called the fetch. If the fetch is wide as well as long, waves also can become higher because there are no shores to cause any friction. The same way, if the area of the fetch is deep, there is also less friction and waves can also grow higher. So the size of the fetch determines how big waves can become. Waves have a maximum size and this depends on the size of the fetch. When waves get to their maximum size, they cannot grow any bigger, even if the wind gets stronger or blows for longer. Further exposure to the wind will cause the top of the waves to break and you will have white caps. When waves are at the maximum height, we call this a fully developed sea. And in the right conditions, waves can reach lengths to 150 kilometers and heights of 30 meters. Let's have a look what happens when waves start to play together. When the crests of two different waves meet, they will make an extra high crest. The same way, when two troughs meet, they make an extra deep trough. And when a crest and a trough meet, they flatten each other out. 
we call these patterns interference. When two crests or two troughs meet and the heights or depths combine, we call this constructive interference. When a crest and a trough meet and they cancel each other out, we call this destructive interference. You may have heard of mysterious sudden high waves that wreck ships. These rogue waves or freak waves are rare waves that are at least twice as high as other waves in the area. They are mainly the result of constructive interference. Now let's go to the coast. What happens when waves break? When swells from the open sea reach shallower water, they begin to slow down. And as they slow down, the crests and troughs get closer together, just as cars get closer together in a traffic jam. So, the length of the wave gets smaller. And because the bottom pushes up all the energy of the waves, it also becomes higher. When waves reach water of a depth of about 1.3 times their height, the wave breaks. This happens because the bottom of the sea really slows down the front of the waves. But the back of the waves still pushes on and on. And finally, the back of the wave pushes over the front of the wave. And the wave breaks and rolls. Now we have a surf. How quickly the wave breaks depends on the angle of the sea bottom. The steeper the bottom, the quicker the wave breaks.